What's up everybody? Zach. Zach's Gaming Retro page. Decided to shoot a little video today. Show everybody my setup. What I'm, which you guys usually see me shoot videos. I've never really shown you guys everything that I have. So I uh, decided to go around the house here. Give you a little tour of all the uh, consoles I have. Gaming PC, the rooms I play and whatnot. And some of my crazy ass animals I'll show you around here. One you might hear in the background like you do in all my videos because he is a blue gold McCall named Tucker, and he is crazy, and he likes to yell, especially when we go downstairs, you'll see. But uh, without further ado, let's take a look at what we got here. This is my... So yeah, this is my main setup right here. 65-inch uh, uh, LED TV. It's my main I play my game. That's up here in the room. Yeah, so anyways, well, look, let me just get this out of the way. So look, check this shit out. That's Tucker. He likes to just talk because he's telling you hi. He screams all the time. So I'll show you the full tour and I'll show you why he screams. So he's from the rainforest, so he thinks he's calling other birds and shit. So when I go downstairs out of his view, which is where my main retro setup is, he likes to scream. But their cages are up here upstairs. Um, and you see we did them on my wall there in the back. They're destructive little bastards. No, it's not being around the road. You want one of these birds, they're fifteen hundred dollars or end up. They live like 40 to 60 years, the blue guy there. The gray guy, that's Asher. She's a girl. She's an African gray Congo parrot. Um, she talks a lot, but she's very shy. So you don't see her or hear her unless she really knows yourself. Now my buddies that I play PS4 with and stuff, they're in parties with me. They will hear her say her funny show time. She's hilarious. She's my bird, so she talks like me, and she says the things I do, like, fuck off. I'll kick your ass, son of a bitch. She curses a lot, and it's pretty damn funny. Uh, we've had pizza guys come to the door, and they don't see her cage because they're out the door down there. And we're paying the bill, and then we'll tip, and she'll be like, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. The pizza guys are looking at me like, what the fuck? Who, you know, like, who wants to beat me up? I didn't do anything. But it's just funny. I got two dogs, Bella, Boxer Mix. She's an old girl. Lazy as hell. Boxer, American Bulldog mix, Boxer. There she is. Hi, girl. Then I got this punk right here who's always coming in my streams, getting in my way of my cameras. He's about a year old, full blooded German Shepherd named Gus. So, yeah, with that out of the way, now maybe I can talk about my setup here. I'm going to sound just like I would be playing my game here. As you see, I got a Assassin's Creed Odyssey up there. I'll have some more streams of this game up later. I tried to have a stream up earlier, but. And it's real fucked up with the Xbox One. You can't just upload directly to YouTube. You gotta have to go Mixer and then download it from Mixer and put it on here. I did like an hour video with a camera and all kinds of shit. And I went to go download it from Mixer and said I don't have no past broadcast. Ugh, this is so annoying. So annoying. I like Microsoft and all, but that shit drives me crazy that you just can't upload straight to YouTube channel. You can do Twitch broadcast and Mixer, but not directly to YouTube. So. And I don't feel like hooking up the capture card to it at all because it's, I'll show you here. So, without further ado, that's my s s receiver. It's an Onkyo 7.1 uh, 4K receiver. It was their uh, top of the line model uh, about last year, I think it came out. Because I had to get one for 4 I went through like three receivers. Every time I get one, it's something else. I got one the first time I set up my system right out of like college and shit when I had some money on my own. I bought a Pioneer and it was a 1080p setup. So everything was good, right? Wrong. Next comes 3D. So I had to have a receiver that did 3D pass through for the video signal. So I bought one for 3D. And the 3D fed, as we all know, went, came and went. So next thing was the 4K shit. So I had to go get that receiver there. So it does full 4K pass through, 3D, 1080D, all the shit. So fuck 8K, fuck whatever's next. That's all I need. That's all I'm doing. And, uh, it, everything goes through that and then one HDMI wire to my TV. It's a 65 inch Samsung LED. Uh, it's a 2018 model. I just got it two weeks ago. It's it's nice, you know. I, I would like to have um, the, o, the OLEDs, but I'm sorry. I'm not showing out fucking eight grand for a 65 inch o, o, OLED when I can get an LED for, you know, 1800. So that's just the way it is. I'm not paying that much for a fucking TV. They're gorgeous and they're great, but until the price comes back down to earth, I'm not getting one. So. Um, so my set up here, I'm going to walk over here and get closer and set zoom in. So I try to set up each shelf. So there's my Nintendo shelf. Uh, my Switch is currently at work. I'm playing Octopath Traveler at work. So 
see back there, the switch is off the dock. But there's some of my Amiibos. A lot of money invested in those. Worth my money. All of the Zelda Amiibos that you can think of. I think I'm only missing two. I think I'm missing the uh, the Ninja one from the Smash Brothers line when Amiibos first came out. And I think I'm missing the Toon Wind Waker Link Amiibo. Other than that, that's like every Zelda Amiibo ever made. And then a couple of goofy ones I have laying around the house here and there. Like a Met some Metroids and um, Mario's and, uh, and uh, Mega Man's, I think. Yeah, but yeah, every Zelda one, they all do something different in Zelda Breath of the Wild, so I'm a huge Zelda fan. So I had to have them all not only for the game, but I, I just think they look cool. And my favorite one's probably Majora's Mask. I really like I like that one. Even though I didn't like that game, I just like that amiibo. I think that's cool. Um, and then if you come up here, this is a PS4 setup. Just got the new God of War PS4 Pro. I spent $600 on God of War because I got the God of War PS4 Pro for $450, and then I bought the $150 edition of God of War come with that statue and all the little figurines and stuff. That's the two little figurines of the two little dwarf blacksmiths. And there's another amiibo, Cloud. I put him up on my PlayStation things. I, I really Final Fantasy more to Cloud. I'm more than PlayStation than I do Nintendo and Microsoft, even though Microsoft's getting Final Fantasy this year, I think. And uh, Well, they've had it in the past, but, you know, and then he's in the Smash Brothers, but, you know, there's my... Uh, God of War controller, I put a light bar cover on it, but here. there it is right there. That's what I've mainly game with, put a little thumbs cover on this. Well, that's one of my main PS4 controllers. I like all my controllers you'll find on this little tour. I like to have uh, themed pads. I'm real big on this type of pad that I use, so I'll pay good money for it. So I thought the controller looked good, but mainly I thought that console was the coolest console Sony said. I like it better than the Spider-Man PS4 Pro. I just think it's sweet. And then Nathan Drake came with my special edition Uncharted 4 game and the Bloodborne figurine. I got another little miniature Kratos figurine downstairs, but I like that statue up there with him and his son. Oh, that was sweet. So that's the Sony shelf. Of course, a little hard drive extra. We all got to have the extra hard drive because these games are so big now if you buy them digitally. So it's like a three terabyte add on. And let's. At the Microsoft shelf with my Xbox One X Scorpio edition. Um, I put Fallout up there and Dark Souls, despite the fact that I only play Dark Souls games on my PlayStation. And Metal Gear Hand, despite the fact for Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. Let's do something here. Let's play that. There, that's better, right? <laughs> despite the fact that I only play Metal Gear and Dark Souls on a PlayStation. I have like no love. Oh, and Destiny. The Destiny goes. Hey, by the way, this thing fucking sucks. It's uh, the Alexa ties into your Alexa over here. You can tell. Yeah, Alexa. Okay, hold on. Yeah, go away. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, so you can tell it. Hey, like, hey, Ghost. Equip my favorite setup and blah blah. And it should do that. But for me, I had a lot of problems with it. It hardly ever worked. I need to do it a firmware update and see if they fix because this was on Christmas when it first came out. But $70, but I just think it's cool. It lights up. It'll do all kinds of stuff. So I just think it's cool. It looks cool as an ornament, but for the price, yeah, not worth it. So if you guys were curious about it, don't get it. But yeah, I played Destiny, Metal Gear, and Dark Souls all on PlayStation, but I'm trying to rep some kind of Microsoft because I don't have any good Halo gears or Forza thing. So, or Fable for that matter. That's like probably, probably my favorite franchise on there. Fallout, I do play on the Xbox. All the Fallouts I've always played on the Xbox or a PC, so... That's my Xbox One Scorpio. Got the camera up here. If when I stream, that's the same camera I use whenever I do my stream on my Apple laptop with the Elgato card too. You can plug that in directly there, and it'll work. But the thing that sucks is if you want to do um, a Twitch stream directly with a camera feed, this won't work. Um, that'll work for Mixer, but it won't work for Twitch. You got to have the actual Xbox One original Xbox One Connect camera set up, and I sold mine with my ex black original Xbox Day One edition. I sold when I upgraded to the Xbox One Slim. So I wish I would've kept it because they're going for a lot on eBay now because it's the only camera you can use for Twitch. Or not. So um, not a special router. I used to have one and it broke and I went back to bought a user. I usually buy like a 250, 200, some pretty expensive Asus or something. But I'm just using the one that uh, came with uh, my Spectrum internet. Uh, 300 mega sec internet's the highest we currently get here. We don't have fiber wire, you lucky fuckers. If you do have it, you're lucky. I want a gig a second, but most I got is 300. And Alexa, Mario Kart, Destiny symbol. 
And my beast of a laptop. All right, my desktop is my uh, Alienware laptop. Got a couple Blu-ray drives Sorry, and stuff on it. I don't know that. Fuck you, Alexa. <laughs> and, uh, anyways, uh, that was a uh, custom built from the Alienware laptop uh, website. I think it's a uh, 2014 on it. It's getting long in the tooth. I probably need to upgrade the video cards and stuff in it. But um, just off the top of my head, 32 gig DDR3 RAM. Um, Oh, which I think it's an NVIDIA 980 Ti card. I can't remember. It's been on the card and everything's 2014, so I could be wrong. But um, it, I mean, it still plays the latest games, latest and greatest, just fine. I mean, it'll get a, it'll sweat a little bit when you make it do 4K, but you yeah, know, it does what I need it to do. And I'll be honest, I haven't played a lot of games on PC because all my friends aren't on there. My Steam friend list is like nothing. Um, it's Avenger, A-V-E-N-G-E-R-Z-4-3. That's my Steam and my Xbox Live. Um, my PlayStation is Twin Snake Z-4-3. After the Metal Gear Twin Snake game when I was on the GameCube. Because um, my PlayStation name got banned during the uh, PS3 era. Because I thought I'd be a smart guy. A real cool guy. And uh, play a game early on my modded PS3. And they detected me, and that was it. I got on there, and I was going to fuck with my buddies. <laughs> and I put, I think it was Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I put that in, and I got on there. And the only people on their servers, because it was like two months before the game came out, were like the testers and the developers and shit. And I jumped into a game lobby and sent my buddies that were just on their regular places and playing whatever. I sent them friend request played in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies. They were all texting me, like, what the fuck? Like, how the hell do you got this game? I was like, my PS3 is modded. I got off a torrent site and I'm playing it early. Oh, well, yeah. Funny, funny, because uh, then I got banned. Lost all my trophies, all my purchases. I just upgraded my PlayStation Plus subscription. Lost it all. I tried to call them and be like, hey, you know, my son did this. He didn't know. Or, you know, his friend here said he's got this cool mod. I did it on my PS3 and he didn't know. Can I pay a fine to get out of it? Or can you only suspend me for 60 days? Or I tried all kinds of shit. I tried calling back like four different people, the manager, everything. Once they press that permaban button, your account's gone. So, yeah, fuck you, Sony. I hate you for that. But being honest, let's be real. It was my fault. I'm a dumbass. I shouldn't have did it. But, so, I don't hold no grudge against Sony, but my name's different because of that. It used to be, it was all Avengers Z43, but now it's different on Sony. Same on Nintendo, same on Steam, and same on uh, Xbox. And then there's the eye for it. Got a cool alien mouse that lights up. And the TV, and then like I said, I sit back. I sit back usually and chill. You guys will always see me from there if I'm playing on my console. And some of my just little controller setups here. Got the uh, Gears of War Elite Xbox One controller with the Gears of War thumbsticks, D pad, everything. Um, I love this controller. It's my favorite controller that I have. Uh, I'm not using the programmable. Uh, short back buttons right now they're in its case but this is my favorite controller and then this one is dear to my heart it's a Metal Gear Phantom Pain edition PS4 controller um, this only came in the European edition of the collector edition set of Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain it came with the game this controller and a PS4 and a box that it only came out in Europe so I had to custom order this from eBay with somebody that was willing to part ways with this from their PS4 so it was expensive but I'm a huge Metal Gear fan if you guys watch the page you'll find out I'm, that's probably my favorite franchise Metal Gear, Zelda, Metroid, Halo all those games like right there, God of War but Metal Gear is my all time favorite number one game so I love this controller um, it's a little getting a little long in the tooth now it's pretty old I put the Destiny thumbsticks on it but got the Metal Gear light bar Hi, buddy. Yeah, I see you. Come on. And yeah, I keep my keyboard on because I like we watch videos and stuff on my computer every once in a while. So, um, I get my drawer open here. I'll show you what's in here. Yeah, um, got my Scorpion Edition, Xbox Scorpio Edition controller. I keep as a spare. It's like brand new, but never really been used. Um, I love this guy here, even though I'm not the biggest fan of this game. It's Advanced Warfare, I think. 
Yeah, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I love this edition console with this controller. It was amazing, so I had to buy it. Um, the console makes like special noises when it turns on and shit. And I just love this controller. I think it's one of the coolest controllers they've ever come out with. So, usually if I game on my PC, I'll usually use this. It's programmed on my PC right now. I'm playing a Steam game on. I'll use this, but I don't know, man. I love the Gears controller so much. I usually just go up and sync it with the PC and then back to the Xbox when I'm done. This is my baby right here, man. I gotta order a battery or something because it's broke. Um, this, the, all the buttons, as you see, are rubbed off. Barely see the triangle. This thing has some freaking time on it. I use this the entire last console generation my PS3. So the chip out of the thumbstick. And it's a, from the Batman Arkham, uh, the first Batman Arkham game, I think, it came out with a special edition. You put a receiver in on your PS3's front USB, and it's wireless, and all these lights light up. But it's dead. It won't hold a charge or turn on anymore. I think the battery's dead inside of it. So i, I got to find a way. I'm going to order a battery or something to get it back running again because it's just it's sentimental value at this point because it's got so much time and hours logged in on it. Cold, harder, and gaming sweat, guys. You know what I mean? So I love this controller, so I'm holding on to fix it. Bring it back downstairs where the PS3 is and reunite them. Um, I'll get a special edition uh, Switch controller, Switch Pro controller, if they come out one that I like. I haven't really seen one I like. I'm hoping Metroid Prime 4 next year they come out one. They got a Smash coming out in December with the new Smash Brothers game, and it's just got the Smash little symbol in the middle. I'm like, ah, eh, it don't really look cool. Like, if you guys can't tell, I like something that like, really sticks out. Like, I don't know, like this thing here, it's got the, uh, like, it's got claw marks on it, <clears throat> going across. It's just really cool, man. I really like the way they did this controller. It's really, really neat. So, I'm just that way, man. I, I gotta have special controllers. That'll be the theme going on. You guys will see for all this. But that's it, man. I keep my junk down in here. Uh, all kinds of stuff to fix consoles and stuff. Little tools, cords, cables, Xbox controller shells, thumbsticks. You name it, man. I'm weird like that. I tinker with all kinds of shit. So, my gun cleaning case where I clean my gun after I'm done shooting and shit. So... All right, let's, uh, here, just walk. Let's get downstairs. Oh, yeah, by the way, got an iPad here. You can do some gaming on that. Gen 3 iPad. Every once in a while I do gaming on that, or I watch YouTube videos where to find shit in my video games and shit, so. Let's walk past these crazies. Now, you notice how quiet they were the whole time, pretty much? Because they can see me right there. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's nuts. But once I get downstairs here, you're gonna hear them. They're gonna scream. I'm just warning you guys. Into the man cave. Man, it's dark down here. Turn this on. Hey, Gus, he's chilling. He's like, no, Dad, don't. He's chilling. Um, this is my setup here. Let me back out like I'm walking in. Make sure you guys can see. Because my wife. She sells us unique makeup. She does her makeup here every day. It's a little side bench guy. It makes good money. But she uh, she gets all of my business, her mirrors and lights and stuff. It's all right. She makes money, so I can't complain. This is my bar set up here. Um, got a 42 inch LED hanging from the wall. Got the chairs, full oak bar, customized. Ice maker there. And then it's got a 300 gallon wide freshwater tank built into it. Um, there's little guys there. There's a dovi, two jaguar cichlids, male and female. And then a dovi male is the big one. They call him wolf cichlids. He's the big guy right there. His name's Debo. He's my dude. That's his female right there. I don't even think she has a name. <laughs> it's a female dovi. I never really named her. And my boy Kratos. I wonder how he got that name, right? My boy Kratos right there. He's the oldest one I have in there. I've had him since he was the size of a dime. Bought him for like five bucks at a pet store with like eight other babies and he survived them all, killed them all, kicked their ass and survived and now he's about six, seven years old, full grown male jaguar. Debo the same way, bought him the size of a quarter. Look at the size of that fucker now. He's huge. Huge, I tell you. Here, hold on, let me show you. And I'm 6'3", so you get a good idea of my hand. Now he's going to run, he's kind of, he's my skittish boy, but you get a pretty good idea. He's, he's huge. You're not running today. You hungry, buddy? Hey, they haven't eaten much. So, but behind the behind the bar, got my um. Can't see it real well, but got a fridge here. 
Right now it's just got some pops on it because my son hit so but there's a CO2 bottle and there's all the lines hook up. Holds two uh, pony kegs or quarter kegs and the line goes over to the double tap. Uh, Traveler's good shit. You haven't had it in your area where you're from, whatever. They make some good beer. It's like a, a orange beer, I think. A little tap handle. I got different tap handles. I change out whatever I put on there. The wife loves the Angry Orchard, so like that. And it's a cool tap handle. It's all like engraved with a tree and shit. It's pretty neat. Um, I'm the ice maker again. Yeah, my name's Zach Fink. Fink CK is my last name, so I thought this sign was cool. My grandpa gave it to me. So. Just like that, and the door here holds a different bunch of different bottles. Each door to the left and right of the tank opens up, and I can go behind here and service the tank. Um, underneath the tank is where all the filtration is to keep the water nice and clean and stuff. A 75 gallon tank that I turned into a filter, the sump pump back, and an FX6 pump. Same with the other side. I usually feed them from this side. But it can hold liquor in the doors or not. Yeah, so. They're used to being fed from here in the bright old fun green shit. So. Just my setup. I got a freezer over here with some frosty mugs when I want to come pour me nice cold beers I'm gaming. Um, looks out onto my gaming room but yeah I just come back here man and chill I got a sink back here everything I need a little fridge everything come back here and chill uh, some of my stuff on the wall there's that Call of Duty Xbox well, that's in my bedroom so you don't get to see that today it's in the wife uses it to watch um, Hulu Netflix stuff on our in our bedroom so it's been commissioned as a video player but I love that dude there's the God of War PS4 that's in figurines there. James Laurinaitis of signed Ohio State jersey. Sorry if you're not an Ohio State fan. Very sorry if you're a Michigan fan. Just kidding. Uh, God War Special Edition box. Guy made this flag for me. My buddy Ryan. He's awesome with this. He's a police officer. He made this for me. I love this thing. And uh, I gotta get a 9mm or something so I can carve out that styrofoam. It's all styrofoam. You carve it out. You can put a gun in there. Close it. Have a little concealed spot for a gun. 11 point buck I've killed. Walking Dead comics, Wolverine. I put this little vent in here for when the wife comes down and smoke. I don't like cigarette smoke. Turn that on. Uh, more more comics. Uh, Deadpool, Wolverine are my favorite. So got a bunch of their comics. First edition. And Deadpool got his own comic. Um, the very first Deadpool ever. Right there. The New Mutants. 98. More Deadpool comics, more Wolverines. I wish I had Wolverines first ever, the Incredible Hawk one from the what, like 1970 something, six or something, 75. It's like 10 grand for a decent copy, so don't have that much cash yet, but I would love to have it. Um, this guy that would know, Mike Madek, look him up on Facebook, stuff. he makes amazing art. He painted that Wolverine for me and he sells it, but I was the first one to get like that size of it, so love that picture. He's, I just like the way he does his artwork, it's so. Just neat little colors and stuff. He's just he's a cool artist. Um, this is my baby tank. All this fish you saw, they grew up in here. When they get so big, I move them over there. And this little monster right here, this is my buddy. This is Odin. You know, I got Kratos. Had now with the old new Viking steam head, have Odin, the, the dad of Thor. So he's a uh, my little dude, man. He's he's pretty cool. He's pretty ferocious. You like a finger chase today? He wanted food. I know you watch food. There he is. He usually gets pretty crazy attacking the, attacking the side of the tank. So, but, uh, those, there it comes again. Yeah, he's, a, he's a cool dude. I like him a lot. But uh, I'll probably be moving him in the big tank once he goes. And I gotta, I'm got probably going to move this side away to get another shelf in for. Yeah, the retro game. I built that shelf, and I can already tell I'm going to run out of room because I'm working, as you can't tell, one shelf at a time. So, this is the Sega shelf. Um, I don't have the greatest Genesis lineup yet. It's one of the ones I'm working on. A lot of these games my brother gave to me that me and him had as kids. 
and then they were only cartridges so I had to make the cases myself or buy them off eBay empty so I'm still working on that um, but yeah this collection it's it's growing you know but it's got a long way to go there's a lot of classics that are missing from my Genesis collection that I'm working on like I added that Streets of Rage I could get Streets of Rage 2 and 3 I added that Wolverine um, X-Men 1 and 2 I need uh, you know the typical ones the uh, Shining Force the uh, Fantasy Star uh, Fantasy Star 4 I know I barely missed the eBay bid on the other week you know, I said Street Fighter 2 and 3. I need to get Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Um, there's a lot of them. There's a lot. I got a list of every console and the games I got to collect because I'm new in this. You know, I'm getting, I'm building it all up. And it's an expensive endeavor. You know, and I monitor the price values on eBay. They all go for. So it's a process, but it'll get there. But it's already taken up a lot of room. Uh, the 32X, same way. There ain't a lot of games on my 32X list because it was a short-lived console. But I do have the one that matters, Knuckles Chaotix. That was the best one on it. It's an awesome game. So, got a guy on eBay made me cases for those. He does an awesome job. Check this shit out. So, the quality on this case. I mean, he just he just knocks it out of the park, man. And the game fits in there nice. Um, I'll show you the the Sega CD and the Sega Saturn. They're, um, they're very expensive games, if you don't know already. They're stupid expensive. So, And the Sega CD has no copyright protection on it, so you can pretty much burn the games to straight CDR and just play without any kind of mod chip or anything. So, yeah, that's what I did, because I'm not going to pay three or $400 for Popful Mail or Lunar, you know, when I want them and I want to play them on my Sega CD. So I did that, and the same guy, he... Uh, made me some, or no, this is a different guy, I'm sorry, a different guy made me some awesome cases, and I mean, when I say awesome, like, so look, you know, huge Metal Gear fan, that means I'm a Hideo Kojima fan, one of his first games ever that he made was Snatcher, it was an on the rail, kind of shooting investigative game, so you can use, like, your, uh, this one here, the Justifier for it and shit, and it was in Japanese, and then it got translated for the Sega Saturn in English, and, uh, I haven't had a chance to go through it all the way yet, but I wanted to play it so bad I had to have it. Well, it is like stupid expensive, the original, with the case here. It's like upwards of $500 for this fucker. But this, I burn it, this guy made me a case. I mean, the quality work is just, uh, he even does artwork on the inside. It's just, it's awesome, man. Really, really good job. Um, if you want, just want his name, I can give him between his name and the, uh, just let me a comment or whatever in the, I'll let you know, but I'm really, I was really impressed when those came in, I even told him, so I was like, man, you deserve, like, above awesome feedback for that, but I keep my spare controllers on there, you gotta go with the six button, there's a CD backup, you gotta have that little cartridge going there when you play Sega CD games, keep that, Justifier going, so, we went Genesis, 32X, CD, now Saturn, again, this is all this, just the Sega shelf, and you see I'm already running out of the room. Um, Saturn's the same way. The games are stupid expensive. I'm not paying a shitload of money for some of these games, especially the Panzer Dragoons, which, if you check the streams, when I do get to stream my retros, when I'm not so tied up playing the current games, like Assassin's Creed and whatnot, I'm actually playing Panzer Dragoon Saga right now, which is freaking amazing. I love that game. So, but there they all are for that. And then, look, he even did. I mean, you know, it's a four-disc game. So, I was like, well, wow, does he do four-disc? Damn right he does. With the artwork in the back and everything. And this guy is just awesome. The first disc is actually in my Saturn right now. But one, two, three, four, all of them in there. And just just awesome. Just amazing. Amazing work this guy does. You know, so you get save yourself a shitload of money being a retro gamer, man. You have to, because this shit gets stupid expensive. And I'm jealous of you rich people out there that own all original and have all original and blah, blah 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 now I'm that way when it comes to the controllers the hardware but I, there's there's a limit everybody has a limit and then next that this is the one I'm actually going to start working on next is my Dreamcast collection very tiny as you can see Sonic Adventure 2 NFL 2K1 and Crazy Taxi and some my three spare controllers um, it's my next system to work on and then I'm going to go back and finish the Genesis and I should be done with the Sega because this for me the CD collection is complete and so is the Saturn that's every game that I wanted for it with the cases and everything. So, unless I come up find some crazy deal out of yard sale, so I want to see one with the original shit, I'm probably done with the CD collection. 
moving up. Microsoft shelf, which is probably going to have to be shared with a Sega shelf since it's only got, you know, three consoles now. Sega needs some room, so I'll probably have to move these out. But just some of the games I have. Uh, the rest of the games I have are on the hard drive because I have a modded Xbox version so you can play games from the hard drive. In fact, all these, all these games are on the hard drive so I can save tearing up the disc. But I do have to have some original games. I mean, these are my favorite two RPGs of all time. Kotar, Jade Empire's right behind him. The old Bioware to me was the greatest RPG developer there was. It's a shame EA ruined them, but they, you know, Jade Empire, Kotar, and they went on the Mass Effect, and then they just Dragon Age, and they just went downhill after that. I mean, I think too many of the original members left and shit, but yeah, I'm missing some of those. Some I want to get some games, you know, Shem New 2, uh, off the top of my head, Time Splitters. Um, what are some of the other games on my Xbox list? Uh, uh, Panzer Dragoon Orta, which I have digitally on my Xbox One X because it got the Xbox One X treatment. You can play these games on Xbox One X, man. They get some of them. We'll get a 4K treatment and everything. The Morrowind. I took that Elder Scroll Morrowind Game of the Year edition right here. I took that up, put it in my Xbox One X, download update. It's like the fastest load time Elder Scroll game there is. And more, more than uh, Skyrim and... Uh, any, all the modern games, an old ass game like that, because when it got the X treatment, the, everything just went through the roof. So, and it, that used to be the worst part about it is it loaded so fucking slow and shit. So, have yet to play it and beat it. I've never beat Morrowind. It's the only Elder Scroll game I haven't beat. So, I'm looking forward to doing that one day. Get my spare controllers there, and uh, the 360 collection. Now we're getting into collections where I didn't trade them in. I didn't. I didn't do anything with them. I actually kept all my shit that I had from the from that console cycle. So these are just some of the controllers I kept. Uh, Halo 4 Edition see-through controller. Remember, I told you guys I'm huge on my grips. Gotta have the nice shit. Gears. Came with the Gears Special Edition Xbox One, or Xbox 360 Slim. My brother got it, so he got that, and I got the Modern Warfare 3 Edition, because the consoles made special noises when they turned on, eject, and everything. So I was like, I'll give you one of my Modern Warfare 3 controllers out of my console, because it came with two of them. You give me one of your gears controls at your console. That's what he did. So I got one each. And uh, Halo Reach controller. Gorgeous. And uh, yeah, that's my four control. I try to keep four controllers per console in case I have any of my buddies want to drink beers and play games on a uh, console that supports that. Um, all my 360 consoles are modded to play backups. And these are all my game backups in there. I'm not going to go through each one, but there's a lot. i got a lot of 360 games. Um, some of the original with the cases are in here. Um, not too many of those off my back list to play. Fable 3 comes to mind. That'll be my next one to play. I haven't beat Fable 3. I beat Fable 1 and 2, but not 3. And some of the Assassin's Creed's i got to finish. It's either Brotherhood or Revelations and then do Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag, which then you got to realize now they've been remade. You know, I think with Assassin's Creed... Uh, Odyssey season pass, they said you're going to get Assassin's Creed 3 HD remaster. So that takes care of that. And Black Flag's already on my Xbox One as a remaster. So moving on. Got the Nintendo shelf. Um, starting off with the Wii U. I kind of went backwards with Nintendo. So we're going to start with the latest, then move away kind of backwards, I think. Yeah. <laughs> the Wii U, you know. It gets a bad rep because I never played, I wasn't into Zelda RPGs when the GameCube was out. And even, I mean, basically, so I take it back because I just told you Kotar shit. So Kotar was my first RPG I played. So right in that era, I wasn't into Zeldas or um, Final Fantasies or any of that shit. So I missed them. So then I later on in life, you know, now fast forward, we're in 2000, whatever, 8, 9, 10, whatever, and then you get the Wii U and... They come out with Twilight Princess HD. And it just so happened I started my Zelda playthroughs about 10 years ago. And I was on um, Wind Waker. And they announced the Wind Waker, which isn't up here in disc. I got it digitally on my Wii U. And then they announced this. So I got to play on both in HD on my Wii U. So the Wii U holds a special place in my heart. I mean, yeah, it gets dissed for being the failure, a failing system for Nintendo. But I, I enjoyed it. And I beat a lot of quality games on it. I really like the Mario Kart. I like the new Super Mario Brothers. I love the Smash Brothers. 
Um, and then I got the Metroid Collection, Metroid Prime Collection, Prime 1, 2, and 3 on it that I still have yet to play. Um, just a normal, they, I don't remember if they came out with a special Pro Controller for Wii U, but I just got a normal one. A couple of just normal with the plus for the Wii. And then I got my Zelda Skyward Sword. Controller. I have not played Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is the only Zelda game that I have yet to beat. That and like the two little ones for the DS that came out from like the Toon Link era. Um, I can't think of what they're called off the top of my head actually. I actually have them up here. I think. Yeah, Phantom Hourglass right there. So, I have not beat this one yet. That and Skyward Sword though. I'm kind of praying they do a Skyward Sword remake with the Switch and you can be optional to the motion controls because I fucking hate motion controllers. I just didn't like them. I didn't like them at all. So the Wii I had, it was modded. I traded it in and all any games I did have for it, but it mostly was modded to play backups and shit, so I got a lot of burnt games for the Wii. So I never really had actual games. So the ones I do have, Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess, and Smash Brothers Brawl. So not a whole lot of games for my Wii. That's one that I'll have to work on when I get to it. But like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of the system. I actually fucking hated it, to be quite real with you. I just don't like motion controls. I thought the Wii was the worst console, in my opinion. I just hate it. Worse than Virtual Boy, sorry. My two classic boxes. Um, and that's the thing, when I get up to my Super and my Nintendo, not only have I not started really collecting yet, but most all games you could ever think of are on my two classic consoles. So, to shell out the cash for the cartridges is basically going to be just because I want to see how good that game looks on RGB through my Frame Meister, and I'm going to wait, you know. Final Fantasy 3 um, Chrono Trigger. I mean, their cartridges are upwards, what, $80 plus or so. So, But there's that stuff. Uh, my GameCube, there's the three controllers. Now, to me, before the Switch and the 3DS, which I love so far, and, you know, I really like the Super, I think this was their best console. I love the GameCube. It was one of the first consoles I bought that era. I had a job, and I actually bought the PS2 first. Then we went over to friends' house to play Halo, and I had to have Halo, so I bought the next box next. I traded my Genesis and all my lot of me and my brother's games, the ones we still have left, you saw, for it at GameStop at the time. I remember I walked in there with like a grocery bag full of shit, man. Like Genesis controllers, like all kinds of games. I remember the games I got took forever. And I think I owed like $80 for an Xbox by the time I was done. And then after that, like I had a job and I saved up some money after that and got a GameCube. So that was the first generation I bought my own console and I actually owned all three on but then when the 360 and PS3 and the uh, Wii came out I traded them all in and all the games to upgrade to the next one because you know even though I had a job money you know it's just expensive and I wasn't making that much and I was young newly married now I make enough money I've never traded any of my shit in but the GameCube when I got it I remember thinking this is underpowered small little disc what's Nintendo doing saying it's cool as my Xbox PS2 and then I actually played it and god damn I love this system um, this is my unicorn for that system I'm a huge Fire Emblem fan even though I've only played one whole game I just loved it I loved it I played the actual the worst one Shadow Dragon so I'm really pumped because I heard this is one of the best ones even though it's really hard I heard and I got this I mean this thing's fucking mint dude this goes 100 plus dollars all day on eBay and it's mint there's absolutely nothing wrong it's like brand new I want it on eBay, I think, for $75 in like a 40-person bid. Like, sniped at the last second. Oh, shit. A scratch on that shit. I can't wait to play this. This is my pride of my GameCube collection so far. But, you see, all my collections I know are small. And this is starting out. That's why I want, I want to look back at this video. I'm going to do another one here in a couple years on this channel. And we'll see how much I've grown. But, you know, I just so far I had to get the essentials. I love Eternal Darkness so underrated they should have made it this game was so fun so creepy so cool you go back in this girl's like family history and play different people from like the um like the roman times and shit and uh it's just a cool game a lot of flashbacks and shit uh you know my namesake on the ps3 or the ps sony playstation network is twin snake z43 and because of this game I'm a huge metal gear fan and this was the only time the first one was remade and it is awesome the graphics were improved over the ps1 version everything was awesome uh, Metroid Prime I never beat. I got like 75, 80% through when it first came out. And I don't know why I never finished I still, to this day, I don't remember why I didn't finish it. But i got to go back and finish it. Um, and then Resident Evil Zero. I beat all the Resident Evils, but on the GameCube. That's what I remember most about the GameCube. Was Zero was awesome. 
like the prequel to the whole story, and then Resident Evil remade. You didn't have to play that shitty graphics from PS1. And Resident Evil 2 wasn't remade, but it was a lot better. It's the best version of Resident Evil 2 before this January comes out, and we'll get the official remake. So we'll build on that. A little handheld collection up here. Um, got the uh, DS, which I wasn't a huge fan of the DS shit, so I've dabbled in that Dragon Quest, like it's that Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, that was the first one I played, and the other games were like for my daughter and shit. Uh, 3DS, I absolutely loved. Metroid Samus Returns is my favorite game on it, but I, again, another system where me getting caught up with the Zelda series, my first time playing Ocarina and first time playing Majora's was on there, and then A Link Between Worlds is my second favorite Zelda behind uh, Breath of the Wild. I fucking love Link Between Worlds. Loved it. Because my third favorite would be um, the Link to the Past, the, uh, the Super Nintendo one. So, there they all are right there. I only got three Super games, like I said, guys, because a lot of them are on the minis. You can't really see, but anyways, it's Zelda, Link to the Past, Met Super Metroid, and Final Fight. It's the only games I got on there right now. Some Amiibos. My NES collection is even weaker. NES I just started, so Turtles, Spy Hunter, stuff. Metroid Amiibos, gone. N64. Now the N64, I just actually completed my collection the other day. And I started with nothing. I was a Sony kit during this generation, so I never owned a Nintendo. I thought they were gay, to be honest with you. I was a Sega kid, so my buddy had Super Nintendo. I was like, that sucks. It gets so much better. And then I, we both moved on to PlayStation. Neither of us had an N64. I thought the people that had an N64, I was like, oh, that's stupid. Sony smashes it. And, I, you know, you get older and you don't play them fanboy wars. And I'd like the N64. And I'll show you why, because mine's really, really special. There's two Game Sharks there. I keep a couple spare controllers. But I just I started with nothing, and I said, I'm going to get the most badass N64, which I'll show you that I have. And then I was like, I'm going to get the, you know, complete that collection first. And I did just the other day. These are all the games that I want for it. If I see another one, like I said, cheap at a yard sale somewhere, I'll get them. But, you know, the two Banjos, Conkers, Donkey Kong, F-Zero, the GoldenEye, Mario, Mario Kart, Perfect Dark, Rogue Squadron, uh, Shadows of the Empire, another Star Wars great game, Smash Brothers, Star Fox, Turok, Russell, I picked a wrestling game. I heard WrestleMania 2000 was the best on the black cartridge, uh, Majora's and Ocarina, and... That's it, man. If I get another one, um, like I said, it, it might be something added on later on that I just found cheap. But for the one right now, I'm going to work on my Dreamcast collection next. Uh, PS3 collection. Again, I'm just sick that I traded so much shit in over the years. I would I would literally had so many PS3 games, so many, because all these I've had to rebuy again. But uh, the God of Wars, Demon Soul, this is my Sony shelf. Start my Sony shelf, by the way. We're done with Nintendo now. Infamous Infamous Collection, Kills on 3, Max. I just beat Max Payne 3, you guys saw on the, the last upload I had. I'd never beat that. I beat 1 and 2, but I'd never beat 3. Um, Metal Gear Solid 4, which is my all-time favorite one. Um, Resistances. That Sega collection I have right now, in case I need to do a stream of an old Genesis game, that has like every good Sega Genesis game on it, on that one CD. It's the best Sega Genesis collection was on the PS. It was on the PS3. So if you need a Sega Genesis collection, an ultimate one, get the one on the PS3. It's badass. The Uncharted 3 Random Wrestling. Last of Us, of course. Come on now. Come on now. Some place to move shit. Dark Souls Trilogy Book. Some from my God of War collection. My Metal Gear Solid Central Collection. Which makes up the bulk. <laughs> I know. My PS2. My PS1 and PS2 collection suck, guys. I'm going to work on it, but they are terrible. Um, that's all I got, basically. <laughs> that's it. Working on it. I want to get Silent Hill 2 next. And, uh... Just keep working from there. But again, a lot of these games too are remain HD, so I have collections, HD collections, like the Kingdom Hearts. I probably won't get the PS2s because they got all these collections coming out now for the PS4. They're upgraded. So a lot of these games, man, I want to play the best version possible. I like nostalgia. I like playing the originals to a point, but I like the best visual things ever. But like, say, Secret of Mana for um, Super Nintendo, or the remake for the Vita and the PS PlayStation Network sucked on PS4. I heard it was terrible. I said, if you want to play a game, go play the original card show on your Super Nintendo. And that's fine. I will. So not only do I want the best visual one, but I still want it to be the best version, too. So if it sucks, the newer version, I'll just play the old one. Probably. So PlayStation. 
it needs a lot of work too. I'm still working on it. Siphon filters. Uh, two, I'm going to get all the tomb raiders, the drivers, got the extra controllers. My main thing first was to get all the hardware first, then I'll start doing the software. So, got more stuff for the PlayStation shelf, Nathan Drake and stuff. So, a lot of room up there to be filled in. There's the Vita. Vita and PSP will be right in that area when I get some. Um, one of my pads. I, you know what? I gave this to my son to play with. I don't just don't abuse it. The 5 million controllers sold for 500 million console sold celebratory edition controller it's all like see-through it's fucking cool Dreamcast controller case oh frame meister that's my baby so i'll show you guys that so now my setup that's all my games and stuff a lot of my other little goofy shit that i got laying around here it's all my xbox scorpio edition box Then I got 5.1 surround down here. It could be 7.1. I'm going to need to get two more speakers, but it's got kind of a... So I'm going to stand right by my TV. So this is where I sit where them two lazy asses are. Back where it was. So it's got like this hump in the wall up there in the ceiling. See that? So I'd have to hang those two 7.1s behind it, and that hump would get in the way. So I'd have to hang them like... You know what I mean? Because then where else would they go to be behind my head to have a true 7.1 back there on the bar? But I don't want it to look that ugly in the bar, and I don't want to run wires back there. So for right now... You know, I got a speaker right there. I have my center kind of hid right there. And then I have one right there in the corner. I'm on boxes. I got the sub. And I got a speaker right there, which I usually just door close when I'm getting that little bathroom down here. So, And then, uh, Run some more, and I got a speaker right there. So I got a 5.1 down here, but it's a 7.1 receiver. I could have seven if I needed it. This is remember I told you I had to upgrade receivers. This is my old 3D version on Kia that was badass. There was nothing wrong with it. It just didn't pass through 4K. So it is an awesome receiver. So Frame Meister's on there. That's what I usually game with. Um, there is said Frame Meister. Badass little unit, man. That's what upgrades all of them old consoles to HDMI output 1080p or 720p with all the colors and everything, the richness. It just turns a picture completely fucking nice. See, I'm using the Genesis right now. RGB. So you gotta make sure that the console puts out RGB format. Buy an order an RGB Euro SCART card uh, Euro SCART cord. And then you get the adapter to go Euro SCAR to RGB Mini, and that's little RGB Mini right there, RGB in. And then it goes, puts it out, puts it HDMI out, and I capture it and send it to you guys on the channel. And that thing is, it's the, it's a $400 box, I'm not gonna lie, it's expensive, but it is worth, worth every penny. Um, we'll start working our way down here. This is my two. 360s. I'm really bummed the CD covers off the front of that Black Ops ones. I've been trying to find one on eBay. I can't find one. I'm at almost to the point where I have to buy a broke Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, or I think it's that Modern Warfare 2. I think it's Modern Warfare 2. I just love that black and gray console. I loved it when it came out. It don't make any special noise or anything. I just like the way it looked. But I'm at the point where I have to buy a broke one and pay the $23 shipping just to get a little black plastic piece for the front of it that matches the rest of the console because that's how anal I am. I know it's sad. I got a Call of Duty zombie sticker on the top of it and shit. And uh, that's my OG black 360 underneath of it. Um, they came out with a band hammer when the bands first came out for modern year 360s. And two of them got banned, and this one was upstairs in my bedroom. And I immediately unplugged the Ethernet cord. So it's been flagged for a ban. If it ever went online again, I'm sure it would get banned. But sorry, Microsoft. You are not getting it. It's never going online again. So that one's offline only. This one's online. Xbox Live. Um, my PlayStation 1, uh, nothing done to it. It'll all put RGB on Mac, so it's got an RGB cord up to the Frame Meister. Um, I bought that first not knowing that I was going to get a Fat Edition PS3 that upscales and plays older PS1 games and 2 games. So I really don't have a need for this other than comparing how good it looks through the Frame Meister to my TV compared to the same game through my PS3, which I'll get to here in a second when we finish this bottom rack. And there's the original OG Xbox. Modified, custom dashboard, plays games on hard drive. I think I got a 500 gig hard drive in there. It's got about 30 or 40 games on it, plus CoinOps 8, which has, it's an 85 gigabyte file, and I think it has 4,000 something games from 
Super Nintendo Neo Geo arcade, the old arcade era games like the X-Men six player, the Nintendo or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's just it's fucking awesome. It's badass. I'll have to do a capture one time and show you everything that's on there. Um, love, love, love that thing right there. And I built that little wooden shelf to go in there to hold that guy. That's one of my babies. This is my fat edition, 60 gigabyte edition, the one with all the um uh, man, it's really dark. You can't really see it, but it's got the uh, it's got the door with all the different memory card ports, the four USB ports. Most PlayStation threes only had two in the front. Um, there's the PSP back there. Now the special grip for my PS3 I showed you before that bat one. I gotta fix it. So right now I just got this one and I got a regular six axis, old six axis, and the six axis DualShock three. And then my Vita will rest there too when it ain't at my work, but my Vita is gone. So, but that thing will play PS2, PS3, and PS1 games, and it upscales the PS2 and PS3 games to each mind. Uh, has video smoothing on it, so really like that thing. PlayStation camera for that, for the PlayStation Move. Whenever I do play something with it, I usually hardly ever. Old Connect for my 360. The mountain, the Tower of Power. There's that card I told you guys about when you're playing Sega CD, you gotta put that card in here. Yeah, you know me, the cheater. Gotta cheat. I'm not gonna sit there sweat these old games that they made hard as fuck. It's Game Genie with the Wolverine. Um, I'll try to do some more streams of that later. I don't like it as much as playing Wolverine in X-Men 1 and X-Men 2, the standalone title. So his standalone title, I don't I mean it looks cool and it's made by acclaim, the graphics are cool. But I thought he looked better in that X-Men 2 stream I put on here, to be honest. And I'm gonna part right now. He's got to jump to this platform, and I can't fucking reach it. It pisses me off. There's no Game Genie code. I don't think they give me, like, super jump ring. I'll have to check. There might be. But 32X, Genesis Model 2, Sega CD Model 2. I'd like to have a Genesis Model 1, Sega CD Model 1, but, man, it took me forever to bid and finally get an acceptable price on one of these fucking things. They're going so much in the retro scene right now. Very, very expensive. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, Daryl's here too. You guys want to see Daryl walking in, blow shit up? Yeah, Daryl, he sits there and watches me play games. Um, my baby right here, my little Metroid Samus Returns Edition, 3DS XL. Love that thing for my 3DS gaming. Moving right along. Got the same side. Like I said, that's what I'm playing right now. No special controllers for the older consoles, mainly. Just I don't know if they really made them, really. That didn't really become a thing until later on. So this, this thing rolls out of here. So You all know what I'm playing. Panzer Dragon inside of this one. I'll have some more streams up on that. But I'm not tied down by all these modern games. Keep me held back. Uh, got the old Dreamcast. Had to get a special dish controller of that. You know, smoke, see through. Got the Game Shark and the virtual memory unit in it. Extension cord for all these so I can sit back there on my couch and play them. Um, the Wii U, I don't know about that. So, see, I try to keep it smooth, but the Tower of Power up there, Saturn, Dreamcast, I'm trying to step it down, but it was hard to keep them all together. So, I try to keep the next part together. So, if you, now we're going to start Nintendo, you know, we're going to go Wii U, which I skipped the Wii because this plays Wii games. So, I see no purpose getting Wii, and like I told you guys before, I fucking hate the Wii, anyways, but. This plays them and with, does everything it does, so I don't see the point in needing a Wii. Um, then we get down here, my GameCube. Now, all those things I showed you before, the, the, this one's special, the Dreamcast, because I have a VGA cable to a proper VGA to HDMI upscaler. So it's putting out the best possible picture for that. And the Saturn uses RGB. You know, t t this got HDMI, you know, for about that. This, the Wii U's got HDMI. This guy here has, um, let's see if I can turn around so you can see it. That dude right there, so that's, a, that's a HDMI cable. Sorry for the bad video. Here we go. Turn it around here for you. Yeah. Eon, Eon. They make an HDMI port plug in for the old edition GameCubes that on the back they have the digital out and the regular video out. You plug that bad boy in and it turns into HDMI out. She can play, uh, four, I think, 480p games or 240, 480i, 480p, I don't know. The highest video output a GameCube could do, you'd have to have this component cable that Nintendo sold. Well, consequently, Nintendo only made those for about a short amount of time then quit making them. 
Well, the chip inside, like, the base, the cord that plugs into your GameCube, inside of there, there was a computer chip that took the video signal from the GameCube, up-converted it to the proper HD signals, and sent it to your component output of the TVs at that time. Well, that software, that chip, was proprietary to Nintendo. So that's why you didn't see those cords made by Mad Cats or any other third-party bullshit. Only Nintendo could make them. Well, when the Nintendo quit making them, they just quit making them. And they didn't give the right to anybody else to make third-party knockoff cables. So there are no third-party knockoff cables. So if you want a cable, you had to have been lucky and kept it when it was only sold for like $15 at a GameStop or Electronics Boutique or whatever. Or now you got to go get raped by people that held on to theirs on eBay that are asking like $250 fucking dollars for that cord. So your other option is that Eon HDMI adapter I just showed you. I think it was $150. Bucks. Well, well worth it. I, I think it gets a better picture than the component cable to be honest with you. a lot of people think the same so and it's HDMI out it's clean and crisp and clear so every time you see my HDMI or my GameCube streams that's what that's what it'll be um, you already know I'm cheating playing Resident Evil 2 before it comes out in January I'll have some more streams up on that carrying around the super bazooka and custom magnum one hot one hit and everything because I'm a cheater like that and I've beat that game like 30 times so I want to cheat I just want to play for fun now my, this is my baby right here. Got a custom controller to match it, the ice blue, fantastic color pack in it. I spent way too much on this, but this is the best way to play an N64, and you have to pay the money to get it or be on an 18-month wait list for the Ultra HDMI port. There it is. Ugh, you probably can't see that's too dark. HDMI out. It's a mini HDMI cable. Nice and clean, just from the motherboard. The video signal from the motherboard. Output in HDMI, no add-on, no nothing. From the motherboard itself, and then when you press some buttons and it turns on, and you got a, a little menu that comes up, so you can change the settings of it, you know. Uh, you could add scan lines to the TV, make it look like you're playing on an old TV like we did when we were kids. Um, ice blue, fantastic color. It's just, I love this console. Paid a lot of money for it. It's well worth it. It's the best way to play N64. If they come out with the N64 Mini, I might get it just for collection, but I showed you my collection. I got all the best games for it. Best way to play it. HDMI out. Love it, love it, love it. Of course, the Wave Bird for the GameCube. Got to play wireless. I had, like I said, I had this and the GameCube. Game Shark. Had it all. Trade it all in. Trade it all in. So. Uh, down below, got the old the old man right here, the NES. I bought this from this lady on Craigslist. She met me and my wife, and I no shit, this thing is the cleanest <laughs> NES you'll ever see as a white white piece of dirt. No, it's it is so clean. I'm not gonna pull it out and see it. When I picked it up, I was like, holy shit! I was like, this thing doesn't even play for a 1985 console. Um, the lady's son went to Gulf War and died and she just never got rid of all shit and kept it in the storage and so this thing has hardly ever been played on so because she told me that it has cinema volume me too because of that so i'm currently saving up i'm gonna get the hdmi mod done to that the same mod they do for the n64 they do it for the nes nes hdmi i'm gonna send them this console and have it done so just gotta it's another thing the waiting list i mean it's a rare mod it's expensive you gotta find the right modder to do it and everything but it'll put out hdmi straight from the uh the motherboard and then the NES Mini, Super NES Mini they're all loaded full games uh, Super Nintendo this is the uh, the good version the best version to get of the Super Nintendo um, with the um, with the, the chip 3 or whatever it's called uh, that it outputs HDM or RGB the best and I looked around it for it and the one I had was all yellowed and nastied out so then I bought a broke one off eBay that had this nice white pristine cover on it so I bought that because I want you know I'm anal like that I want it to look good, and I've beat Super Metroid already on this. You guys have seen the videos on my YouTube. I love this little guy right here. But Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis are the best for that frame mice. So I'm putting out the best uh, video. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's uh, most of my collection. I plan on adding a shelf over there to the side where just that speaker sits on storage, and that'll be where the Jaguar, the 3DO, uh, my Neo Geo Mini is shipping here soon because Neo Geo is one of them things. I might get the Neo Geo X, Gold X later and add mod it and add games to it. But it's one of them systems where I'm not going to be able to get the original because all the games are just so fucking expensive. I'm probably going to play them off the Mini, to be honest with you. But yeah, so that, the Neo Geo Mini, the Jaguar, the 3DO, and the Turbo Graphics are all going to go on a little shelf right there. 
and that should complete my collection. I'm not really interested in the Atari. Sorry if you guys want to see Atari videos and stuff through the Frame Meister. Besides the Jaguar, the rest would be for my time, and I'm not really that interested in any of the games for them. And uh, I forgot to mention all this is played on a 42-inch plasma. I think plasma is the best for gaming, so I always held on to this plasma rather than an LED or LCD or anything. So. But that's it, guys. Uh, any questions, let me know. But I just want to give you guys a full rundown of every time you watch my videos, like the setup that I have and everything. I try to make it as professional as possible. Have the best possible video output for the channel. But I'm a huge gamer, if you can't tell. I'm a huge fucking nerd. You can't tell from all this crap that I have down here. But I hope you guys enjoyed. As much as uh, Bell and Gus did. And uh, we'll see you on the channel.